Hey guys, be sure to watch to the end to find out how you can enter the giveaway. So today we'll be making our very own piranha plant. If you're a fan of Little Shop of Horrors, it is inspired by, but my own design. And you see today we are using cosclay. You can use any other polymer clay for this, it just won't have this bendability. For this project, our list of supplies is going to be a little bit longer. So what we'll need, we'll start with our clays. I'm using white, black, brown, green, and a yellow green. And I've made my yellow green by mixing my yellow and my green deco cosclay. And I'll list links in the description below on where you can find those for yourself if you're interested in this brand. We're also going to need a mini flower pot. I'm also going to need scrap clay, a large ball of foil, a small ball of foil, a blade, a dotting tool, and I've chosen two and they just have different sizes at the ends. A silicone tip. This is the pointy end. This comes in a set. I'll link those below as well. An X-Acto knife, smoothing tool, translucent liquid Sculpey, Mars black acrylic paint, red, green, yellow, white. We'll also need some wire, 12 gauge. You will also need a small hand drill, paintbrushes, paper towel and squares, and a jar of water. You'll also need masking tape. The first thing we want to do is make our teeth. I like to pre-bake my teeth, that way I just have them ready. So we're going to take our white clay, roll that into a snake. Take that and just cut your tiny pieces. We're going to use these for two teeth and then spikes down the vines. Once we've cut them, we're going to roll them into balls and make them into a point. And to do that, leave them on the paper, massage around until you get a ball, and then put pressure on one end and you'll end up with a tooth and then just use your other finger and cradle that around to create a curve. And then we'll do all of these. Now that we're done with these, we're gonna put those into an oven at 275 degrees. We're gonna prepare our flower pot. We wanna secure our base into the inside of the pot and that's what I have my scrap clay for. Take my big piece of aluminum foil, take this random piece of gunk clay, smush it around that edge, take that ball, smush it into the pot. So I went ahead and rolled out some of my brown in my pasta maker and that's just on a number seven setting. And you just wanna fit that over your pot and then just take your X-Acto knife and trim around the edges once you have that excess cut off, press it in, cover the foil, and then if you think there's air bubbles, take your dotting tool, poke holes, massage those in. Let's get our plant ready to be made. We take our smaller ball of foil, and you can just take it and pull it apart and just cover like this. So cover the entire thing with your clay, and then roll it in your hand so it becomes smooth. And then let's find a side that we like that face. So I kind of like this shape. I'm going to take my blade, place that in, go back and forth, and then rock it just a little bit. And you'll see I'm getting the start of that creepy mouth. We take our dotting tool, the smaller one first, put it in the corner, dig deep in, kind of massage around, and create that kind of little smirk there. I'm gonna do the, the same on this side. Then I'm gonna take my bigger dotting tool, do the same at the bottom, and then do the same at the top, only this time. I'm gonna do one here, one here. Just play with it until you're happy, and then I just take that same dotting tool, and I wanna give the plant itself a little bit of texture, and then I just fling it and rotate that bulb around. Take my silicone tool, and then I'm gonna actually draw in some veins, and those will really show up after we start our paint job. Now we're going to fill in that mouth with black. So we just take our black, make a small snake, make it pointy at either end, and then just place it in. I'm gonna take my smoothing tool, push that in, and just maneuver the clay over any of that foil. Now that our teeth are baked, we're gonna pick out two that are similar in size, and then take our dotting tool, whichever end matches the end of our teeth the best. 
Take that dotting tool, push in under the gums, push in under the gums. Then I'm gonna take my translucent liquid Sculpey. Take that same end of that same dotting tool, put some liquid Sculpey in there, pick up our teeth. I'm actually gonna grab my tweezers for this. I don't know why I never tell you guys to have tweezers. We'll just poke that tooth in there. Same on the other side. And there we have our mouth. Next, we wanna make our leaves. And I went ahead and rolled out our two shades of green and we're gonna cut out our leaf shapes. Now we want these to be fairly large because they're going around our big old noggin that we made. So just think lime. So just do an arch and then a smile. So a frown and then a smile. Pull our excess clay off and then do the same with our darker green. Weird shaped lime and do that again. I would say you want 10. Now we're gonna give our leaves some texture, is take our silicone tool, but we're basically gonna draw the vein of the leaf and the veins coming out. Flip that over, do the same on the other side, and repeat that with all your leaves. Now that we've done that, we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and at the edge of every leaf, drag and pull out, creating a fringe. But do that with each one. Now we're going to place our leaves around the head to make that mane. So to do that, we just pick up our head, pick up one of the leaves. So I'm gonna put one here, put one here, here, and just place those all the way around, just lightly holding them on the back. I think I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So now, smooth those on the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake this at 275 for about an hour. Something we can do while our flour is baking is its vines. So we just take our balls of clay, roll them into snakes, but push down, add pressure at that one end, just like we did for the small teeth. So we're creating a taper. And there we've got one of our vines. So do that again. Now that our head is baked, we're gonna add that to our pot. And we're gonna do that using our wire and our screwdriver. So first, take your pot and drill a hole going into the foil ball that we placed in there. And then take your wire, cut that about an inch and a half, Take your liquid Sculpey, put the nozzle inside the hole, and squeeze them in there. Stick your wire down, and then we're gonna position our head. And then look at the back, see where that is, and kind of make a little indent, but that's where we're gonna drill. Get right in there, just give some pressure. Twist and twist and twist and twist. Do the same here with your liquid Sculpey. Just push some right in there, and it's gonna overflow when you put it in, that's just science. Attach that, push it down. Then you're gonna take your vines, smush that on, Use your finger and you can position from there. Smush that next one in. I like that coming down the front. Let's attach that and give it some character. And then go around the back, smooth that, and then position that one how we want. And add some spikes. So we have our pre-made spikes or thorns. We're gonna take our dotting tool. Let's take our smaller one. Support that vine, press. Use our liquid Sculpey the same way we did with our teeth. Take your tweezers, push those in, and then while you're at it, just take your dotting tool and give some texture. And then just do that with the other vine. Now we're gonna take our extra leaves and attach those in those places that maybe have some space needing filled in. So just take that, I'm gonna bend it, fold that down, press into the brown dirt, go underneath, reach in with my smoothing tool and smooth that into the dirt. And I have two more leaves that I can use. You can always make more if you wanna fill in. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna put this into bake. I'm gonna do an hour and 20 minutes, let that cool, and then we'll come back and paint. So take your masking tape and just put it around the edge of the flower pot. Now we're gonna do our wash. So we're gonna take our Mars black acrylic paint, and this is where we're gonna get messy. Your water, your paintbrush, black acrylic paint. Get your brush really wet, and just bring out a little bit of that black paint. Do not be afraid of this part. It will look ruined. You have not ruined anything. This is gonna really bring out those details that we carved in there. Take your black, paint it all over. I'm gonna do two leaves at a time. Then take your paper towel, wipe it. You want that to be in the cracks still. See how it's staying in those cracks and crevices? And you're gonna do this over the entire 
thing. So just work in small sections and then keep going from there. Now that our black wash is dry, we want to do our paint job. So what we're gonna do is take out our paints. Now for this step, we want green, yellow, and yellow, green. So for our yellow, green, a couple of drops of green into that yellow, and then we go mix it. We take our brush, we're just gonna paint in. You wanna brush off a lot of that paint too, cause you wanna still step black through it. Since I'm using Cosclay, I wanted to use the leather paint. The leather paint is gonna stay flexible. We'll just go right into the darker. See, that's changing already. I'm gonna go take that dark green around the base of the bulb. I'm gonna go in with our yellow and just blend that back. Be sure to paint the back and underside. See how different that looks already? Now that our green is dry, we only have two more steps and then we're almost done. What we're gonna do now is touch up those white spots, so those thorns and the teeth. Now I'm just gonna use our dotting tool to apply that because our brush is a little big. So you just pick up your white paint and then it just works like a ballpoint pen and just go around and do all your spikes and thorns as well. Now that we've cleaned up all our thorns, we wanna do our mouth. Take your brush and just paint under the lip and on top and then pull down. And then just brush off your brush, go back into that wet and just drag it back and then go back and really get that red back up in there. See how bright that is? And there you have it. That's our piranha plant or Venus fly trap. I hope you had fun. Remember, you can find me at Etsy and on all social media at Deborah Darling Face. If you would like to enter for a chance to win the eight sticker set of our piranha plant, Venus fly trap, tell me in the comments below what your favorite character is from Little Shop of Horrors. And in the next couple weeks, we'll randomly pick a winner. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you.